Thank you for taking the time to review Aron Council's presentation into the review of the Town Improvement Levy. To begin with, it is important to understand and consider Council's current rating structure. Currently, there are five rating classifications within our, in our structure, and they include farmland, residential, rural residential, non-urban and business. These classifications are throughout the entire local government area. As you can see, the town improvement levy is rated on properties within the Avon Town District as per a Gazettal in 1987. The overall permissible income for this financial year, 23-24, is 5.16 million. This is a legislative cap and Avon Council cannot exceed this. Council has resolved to undertake a review of the town improvement levy uh, to ensure that the equity and outcomes of the rating structure are still relevant for our community. The Town Improvement Levy was originally created in 1934 and a lot has changed within our community since then. Differing economic impacts, population growth, evolving needs for services are just a few examples of those. To understand this better, Council released a community survey last year and the community indicated a number of priorities that they would be willing to relocate budget for council to achieve. Thus, council are looking at a holistic review of the rating revenue structure to ensure our budget and resource allocation are aligned with the community objectives going forward. As part of the consultation, council has placed three scenarios to the community for consideration. The first scenario is to keep the town improvement levy as it is currently operated. This means the town improvement district as nominated back in 1987 will remain unchanged. Projects will be nominated each year through the yearly integrated planning and reporting process. And projects and funds are only to be delivered and spent within this district. This is how Council currently operates the levy and this would remain unchanged under scenario one. The second scenario is to expand the town improvement district to include more ratepayers. This would lessen the burden on the current ratepayers within the town improvement district as this would the distribution would be spread amongst the larger pool of ratepayers. To do this, Council would need to expand the Town Improvement District to a larger area. Projects within this would still be required to be nominated each year through the integrated planning and reporting process and delivery of those projects and funds would be restricted to the newly expanded Town Improvement District. The final scenario is the removal of the town improvement levy and redistributing this into the base rate of the ordinary rate structure. This scenario would see the total levy divided by the number of assessments across the entire Oberon local government area and applied through a base rate of each category. Currently using the 2324 figures, this would result in an additional $141 added to every rateable property. What this does, however, enables council is to spend these funds across the entire local government area. The next slide shows the current boundary of the town improvement district. As you can see, there has been significant expansion in Oberon since 1987. The number of new subdivisions and residential areas in close proximity to the current town improvement boundary. An example of how the boundary could be expanded is highlighted on this slide. As you can see, for illustrative purposes, this example looks at extending the TR boundary out to the R5 zones, picking up some of the new subdivisions that have taken place. If the town improvement levy goes out to these areas, council would be able to extend projects into this newly expanded zone. 
In reviewing the three scenarios that have been placed before you, it is important to remember and Council wish to reiterate that this process does not generate any extra revenue for Council. If you look at the pie graph presented in front of you, you will see 46% of Council's rental revenue comes from farmland, 17% from residential, 17 from rural residential, 4% from non-urban, 5% from business and 11% from the town improvement levy. Should a change happen to the town improvement levy, all that will happen is that 11% will be redistributed among the other categories. We will not be able to increase our revenue, as I highlighted earlier, above the legislative cap. While Council is considering the current movement of the town improvement levy, it is important to consider what the town improvement levy has achieved within the district since inception. For the past 10 years, the levy has delivered a variety of projects. 17% has gone towards the development of the Oberon Common, 11% towards the Oberon Community Library, 8% on drainage. There's been a significant amount of work on footpaths and curb and gutter development under the levy. So it's not as if the town improvement levy has not been successful in the district. The question is, is that council is considering whether projects outside this area should now be given a chance to gain extra funding and resource allocation. Council is very interested in community feedback. Submissions are open until Wednesday the 28th of February at 4 p.m. All information can be found on council's website, including a further review paper, an online survey, and details to how to make a detailed submission. If you have any questions, please contact Council on 6329 8100. And thank you once again for your time.